Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to make some homemade dual stage foam inserts. I just can't get myself to spend $50 with tax for the ProLine dual stage foam inserts. So I have some uh, the Traxxas uh, stock foam that came with the original kit and I have the super soft uh, foam inserts that came with the Hyrax tires that I bought from ProLine. So I'm going to use both of those foams to make tire inserts uh, and we'll see how this works. So here are the two foams that I'll be using to make a dual stage. This foam is the foam that came in the uh, Traxxas uh, kit, the stock foam. And this is the ProLine foam that came with the Hyrax tires I bought. This stuff is really, really soft. And, I mean, there is no strength sideways at all. This is a much firmer foam. Um, and it's also slightly wider, which is kind of nice because it will give me more support um, for side hilling. Um, so how I decided to do this was I literally just found a glass that... Um, had the right dimension there so it's you know it's actually just a, a little more than a quarter inch all the way around and then I have a larger one for the firmer foam that I'm going to use so and I, I put tape on these so that I can use a red marker to trace around and I don't mark up the glass so the idea is is this is larger this is smaller so that way when I put this foam over this foam, it's a tight fit. So here we go. So I forgot to mention, um, I marked both sides of the foam so I can cut from both sides. And I'm just using a just a box cutter razor blade make two passes on each side and just kind of rip it apart with the tiny little bit left over in the middle you know it doesn't have to be perfect you know at least I don't think so so that's uh, the stiffer inner foam cut okay so I got the softer pro line foam cut so this is the piece that's garbage. So we'll just put this over that. So stuff it in there. I wanted a tight fit so it doesn't move around. Make sure it's kind of even. Like I said, the Traxxas foam is slightly wider than this. And I bet if you only have the ProLine stock foam, you could probably just find like a craft store or possibly even Home Depot, just a much firmer foam for this port portion. Um, there it is. So I will put this into the tire. Okay, so got the uh, first tire done. I really like the way that this feels right now. And I can't feel like a seam on either side of the tire from the foams. Um, I do notice that it definitely feels like it's, uh, it's fuller. Um, but it still has that at least quarter inch of super soft foam along the edges and just initially it, it seems way better so seems like it's a stiffer sidewall all of a sudden um, also I don't know if you could actually see in the time lapse there um, I use uh, just a socket like a big socket because um, I don't have any PVC pipe at home which I basically put in here and then put the wheel on top when I put these bolts in for the beadlock that way, I don't scratch up the rim with the socket, but it's just a good way 
so that I'm actually just pushing on the rim itself to compress these together. I found it easier to actually get the bead lock in. So, okay, well, I'm going to put it on the truck and we will see what the difference is from front to rear. Okay, first one's done, the front one right here. And you can see how that back one, which is the lighter part of the truck, a lot of the weights in the front of this, see how compressed that tire is there versus the front one. But if I put weight on the front one, it still compresses, it's, it's still great. You know, there's the difference. Um, the tire's a little fuller now too. This one's, I mean, there's nothing up top here. And on this now, it's, it's way better. And even just putting it on its side, watch this. It's the front one with the homemade dual stage. Just the stock foam from the Pro line. So that's a big, big difference. Like I'm actually on the tire there. And I'm almost on the wheel there. So this is working really well. Let's do the rest of them. Okay, I got all four done. Uh, worked out pretty well. Um, you know, that's the back. It's the front. Um, you know, it, it just, it, it's way better than um, either of those foams by themselves. So pretty happy at this and it was free. I didn't have to spend $50 on dual stage foam. Um, you know, so here's, here's with it on its side, like it's side hilling. Here's the back. Here's the front. It's no longer on the rim. You know, I was afraid I was going to ruin my tires. Um, but yeah, pretty excited. A free fix. Um, something I did forget to mention was when I put the foam into the tires, I, I really went around both edges of the tire um, and made sure that the foam, once I put it in, was still lined up correctly. Um, and again, same thing with the metal insert inside the tire for the wheels, um, just like a normal install. So, you know, I, I probably could have done this much nicer if I had a foam cutter with a hot wire or something, but I don't, so I just use the razor blade. Um, you know, maybe in the future I'll get a cheap one and set up something so I can buy different foams and make really cheap uh, dual-stage foam inserts and try different foams. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I just, I just can't get myself to spend that kind of money on those inserts. But, yeah, now I get to go try it, and uh, hopefully it, it helps out. Okay, look at these new... Uh dual stage foam inserts. There's some side hilling here. This is a massive improvement from what it used to be. There's a hard turn front. Try a little steeper angle, it might roll here. Turn in again. Look at that. Here's the rear. Way better, way, way better. Super happy at this.